The bullshit of virginity and sexual submission in four parts. One, I found my clitoris around the age of four. The praying doll I got for my birthday found her hands locked between my thighs when the automated plea to God alerted my mother in the other room. That was the first time I learned what sin was. When she caught me at 10, mama couldn't look me in the eye, said what my hands did made my body a sandbox, an uncleanable minefield for which I would have to repent with guilty tongue for the next 12 years. I couldn't touch myself without the sweet Virgin Mary reminding me her body was God's choice and Joseph's dilemma, her arms extended in mercy and compliance. Two, over the phone, my youngest brother tells me of the bittersweet of his first time, the girl in the back seat of his pathfinder. He hopes she doesn't get too attached. I am 20, still a virgin with the 10.30 p.m. curfew. Men in my home country will tell their sons to find a woman who is unharvested, over-ripened fruit, tender skin that will remember the bruises as a lesson they say. Amuse yourself with the pleasures of a girl who allows her skirts to keep no secrets. Good women come with resealable lips are praised for taking lions as husbands. The ring is a promise his teeth will not close over her head. All I know is that gold is a malleable element. Three, there is no easy metaphor for female genital mutilation. How a bride becomes herself with a blade or a broken piece of glass or tin lid. Cut the clitoris, sew the vulva tight enough for good sex. There is no anesthetic, only the tradition of knowing your body is God's choice and your husband's dilemma. 140 million women alive today, no trauma. As a missing body member, the testimony is that they still live because they do I cannot keep visiting my body as a ghost for fuck a life without release I am collecting myself in parts from music videos and sermons let me be virtuous as the priestess in Brazen as Lilith before Eve cause what's a pussy but a portal but the face of God I've got 13 years of Jesus is watching hanging above my bed like the nightmare before chapel and now I hold masturbation night vigils and velvet nightgowns I started cussing in church despite any man who would ever find me respectable I do not want a husband who thinks I was born when he found me. I don't fuck for the experience. I do it like I'm fighting a war. Pull the moan from my throat because my orgasm is now a cause for celebration and I am mine. I am whole. I am everything I ever desired and desire itself. Yeah.